Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already to the Gemra YouTube channel and go check out my other workouts. Hi guys, it's Leslie here with Jimra. Welcome to this advanced uh, Pilates mat workout. All you'll need for the class today is one set of light weights, anywhere from one to three pounds. Have those weights towards the back of your mat on either side, and we're gonna get started lying down on our backs. <clears throat> so, so lie down on your back with your knees bent and your feet down on the mat. Hands by your hips. Take that right leg high to the sky and then interlace all 10 fingers behind the head. As you inhale, lower the right leg down and as you exhale, come up, twist and try to reach the left hand outside of that right leg. Inhale to go back down. We're just doing 10 times. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we'll just switch. Bring that right foot down, left leg to the high diagonal, lower it down, inhale and exhale, twist. For nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left foot back down. Now grab onto those weights. I'm just gonna scoot forward a little bit. Grab onto those weights and bring your legs into a tabletop position, taking a variation of the 100 with the weights. So curl the head and shoulders up. And take the weights forward so they're right in front of your hips with the palms facing up. As you extend the legs to a high diagonal, inhale. As you exhale, bicep curl the weights in as you bring the legs back to tabletop. Inhale to extend, exhale back to tabletop. Try to keep those shoulders off of the mat. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep that lower back down. Nine, we're doing 12, 10, 11, 12. Back to the tabletop legs. Now take the weights, palms face down, and just little crunches up up, up, up for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Press the lower back down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Lower the feet down. Take the weights to your hips and we'll come into a few rounds of Pilates bridge with the weight on your hips. So just adding a little bit of resistance here. So feet hips width distance apart, lift up, peel the hips off of the mat into that Pilates bridge, and then scoop the belly, roll the spine back down nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. Two more slow, lift the hips up, belly in, curl the spine back down. One more nice and slow, lift those hips up, curl the spine back down, and then let's move through it a little bit faster, hips up and down, lifting up and down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. 10 more, 10 and down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the weights above your shoulders. Lift up your hips into your Pilates bridge. Take that right leg to a high diagonal. As you inhale, you'll take the weights over the head and the right leg lowers, and as you exhale, the weights come back up, the right leg lifts. We've got a total of 10, so nine. Keep the belly tight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Place that right foot down. Let's do the left side, left leg to a high diagonal. Try to keep the hips lifted the entire time. Left leg down and up. For nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, place that left foot down, lower the hips back down, goal post your arms. Now we'll take the bridge with an overhead press. So lift the hips up, press the weights up and down. We're doing 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, one. Good job. Weights off to the sides. Take that left leg long on the mat. Take the right leg long on the mat. Take the arms up and over the head, palms facing forward. We'll do three rounds of the roll up. Inhale, curl the head and shoulders up. Exhale, reach and dive for the toes. Inhale, roll the spine down one vertebra at a time. Exhale, the arms go back up. We'll take two more. Inhale, curl. Exhale, reach and dive. Full extension of the spine. Gaze goes down. Inhale, roll back down one vertebra at a time. Exhale, the arms go up. Last full round, curl up. Reach and dive for those toes. Roll your spine back down, arms back up, and then we'll set up for our series of five here. I'm just gonna scoot forward a bit. Bend your knees, bring your legs into a tabletop position. Sorry, I've just gotta fix my hat here for a second. All right, legs to tabletop, setting up for single leg stretch. Left leg to a high diagonal. Grab onto that right shin with both hands. Try to get both shoulder blades off of the mat. You guys are pros, you know what you're doing. Go ahead, switch it out right and left. Don't let the upper body move. Point those toes and make sure to breathe. Left, right, don't let the upper body move. See if you can get the shoulders a little higher as you press the lower back down more. Point those toes left, right. Keep going, keep going. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Lower the head and shoulders down, and then we'll get ready to set up double, double leg stretch, so legs back into tabletop position. Hands behind the head, curl your head and shoulders up. As you inhale, extend the legs to a high diagonal, only as low as you can go, keeping the lower back down, and then exhale, sweep the arms in a full circle to scoop the knees into the chest. Inhale to extend, exhale, scoop the knees into the chest. Inhale, extend, exhale, scoop them in. Keep going. Don't let that upper body move, just the arms and the legs are moving, really close those ribs, squeeze navel to spine. I know it's hard, stay with it for five. Breathe, four, three, two, one, rest. Lower the head and shoulders down. All right, three more in series of five. And then we'll add on from there. So take both legs straight up to the sky. Curl the head and shoulders up. Lower that left leg to hover. Grab your right shin from behind and then start to switch it out right, left. Again, just like in single leg stretch, the upper body is not moving. So don't be wobbling around. Just focus on everything stable at your powerhouse, your center, and you're just switching out those legs. If you can, try to kick the leg out of the hands. Really strong in those legs. Yes, keep going. Right, left, left, right. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest, lower the head and shoulders down. All right, those of you that know it, we just got two more in series of five and then we'll be moving on from here. Let's set up double straight leg stretch. Hands by your hips. If you can, curl the head and shoulders up. If it's too much, just lower the head and shoulders down. And those of you that want the added challenge, you take those hands behind the head. It's a slow lower down, just as low as you can go, keeping that lower back down, and then exhale right back up. If it's too much, have the hands behind the head. Just keep the hands by the hips. Slow lower down, exhale right back up. 
See if you can get the head and shoulders a little higher. That can be more challenging when you've got the hands behind the head, for sure. Inhale down, exhale right back up. Slow lower down, exhale right back up. We're here for another five, four, three, two, one, and take a rest. Good job, lower the head and shoulders down. Slow your breath. Great, good work. Just one more in series of five. Let's do it. Legs to tabletop. Curl the head and shoulders up, hands behind the head. Crisscross it out. Opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Now don't focus on speed, focus on the form. Really point the toes, get those legs to extend nice and long. Try to connect opposite elbow to opposite knee. Twist, 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 and twist. Twist, twist, twist. We've got five, twist, four, twist, three, twist, two, twist, one, twist, and rest. Great, good work. Lower the head and shoulders down. Hug the knees into the chest. And then place those feet down on the mat if you want to. You can take a few rounds of a Pilates bridge, maybe even a rolling bridge, lifting the hips as the arms go over the head. Whatever feels nice for you here to stretch out those abdominals after a series of five. Next, we'll set up for jackknife. So for jackknife, I'm gonna give you some options here. I don't want you to move the head and shoulders or look around, so you're gonna stay lying down on your back. More challenging in jackknife is to have the legs, you start with the legs straight forward. If you don't want that added challenge, you'll start with the legs straight up, just like we set up for single straight leg stretch. The hands by your hips. Lift those hips up and then take the legs halfway down, just halfway. Don't let them go all the way down. Lift them all the way back up and then roll the spine back down. If you want the added challenge, the legs go all the way down. We're just doing this three times. So lift the legs all the way up, hips up, legs lower halfway down. Legs come all the way up, roll spine back down, either keep the legs there or take them all the way down. One more round. Hips up, legs up, press the hands down, lower the legs halfway, use your core, lift the legs back up, roll the spine back down, take those legs all the way down onto the mat. Really nice job. Let's do a roll up. So arms up, palms face forward, flex those feet, curl the head and shoulders, reach and dive for the toes. This time plant your hands by your hips and scoot yourself towards the top of your mat for rolling like a ball. We're going to take five rounds of rolling like a ball. Bend your knees, grab your shins from behind, big toes touch, get your balance. Five rounds, so you inhale, rock back just to the tips of the shoulder blades and exhale, rock back up and balance. Just four more, inhale back, exhale up. Just three more, inhale back, exhale up. We've got two more, inhale back, exhale up. Last one, inhale back. Exhale up, pause. Don't let those toes touch the ground. We're gonna go right into seal, five rounds. Take the arms, thread them inside of the legs, wrap them around and grab your ankles. You'll take three claps with the feet. Rock back, three claps. One, two, three, rock up. One, two, three. We've got four more. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three more. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two more. One, two, three. Rock up. One, two, three. Last one, rock back. One, two, three. Rock up. One, two, three. Good job. Close your legs, hug the knees into the chest, and then scoot your hips back, and we'll set up for saw, flex your feet, press the legs down into the mat. You want your feet a little less than the width of the mat. We'll go for the full saw. So take those arms nice and wide, palms face down, shoulders long down the back, pull the belly in and up, nice tall spine. Every time we start here at the center, I want you to take a big inhale to lengthen the spine. As you exhale, it's a twist. Reach that left hand all the way outside of the right foot. Inhale back to center, stay twisted, and then exhale, come back. Big breath in, lengthen, reach and twist. Come back, stay twisted, back to center. Pause to lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, center. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, reach and twist. Inhale up, exhale, center. Lengthen as you inhale, twist as you exhale. Back to center, lengthen, reach and twist. Come up, 
back to center. Let's take one more round. Tall spine, inhale, twist. Back to center, twisted. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, come up. Exhale, back to center. Really nice. Take those hands down, scoop the legs around. Plant the left hand, plant the right hand. Meet me in a plank pose, top of a push up. So really get nice and stable in your plank first. Fortify your plank. Feet about hips width distance apart. The hands shoulder width distance apart. Navel to spine. Pull your lower belly in and up. We'll pause here for five. Breathe for four. Gaze forward. Three. Listen. Two. On one, take a wide base plank. Take your feet to the edges of the mat. Really press into the balls of the feet. And we'll take shoulder taps here. Tap the right shoulder. Tap the left shoulder with the right hand, excuse me. And then the right shoulder with the left hand. So tapping right and left. Trying to keep the pelvis stable. So as much as you can, not letting those hips wobble too much. The wide base helps with the stability. Right, left, right, and left. Keep going. Right, left, right, and left. We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, breathe, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the feet back to hips with distance apart and then lift up to a downward facing dog, hips up and back. Go ahead and pedal out your dog a few times if you would like. Bend the right knee, bend the left knee little bit of movement going and then find some stillness in your down dog you want your feet about hips with distance apart the hand shoulder with distance apart lengthen the tailbone to the sky and then walk those hands to the back of the mat your weight should be there so just grab them on your way back and we'll roll up to stand with the weights so we'll do three times of a roll out and a walk out to plank but with some added weight work here so as you exhale, roll down, walk it out to plank with your weights. Take the right weight straight back and down, left weight straight back and down. And then walk the weights back to the feet. Roll up to stand and we'll do that again twice more, just like that. Roll it down, walk it out to your plank. Take the right weight back and down, left weight back and down. Walk it back, roll it up and roll it down walk it out right weight goes back left weight goes back walk it back drop the weights off to the side roll up to stand and this time we'll roll down and we'll walk out to downward facing dog keep pulling the navel to the spine stay connected to your powerhouse Lift your left leg high to the sky in a down dog split and then roll forward to a three limbed plank. Let's do that twice more. So lift up to a down dog split and then roll forward to three limbed plank. One more, lift it up, roll forward. This time, pause here. Start to curl that left heel in towards your glute. Step it over your right leg. Wild thing, take a back bend, stretch that left arm up and over the ear as you lift the hips. Listen carefully, rainbow that left arm all the way around, dip the hips, plant the left hand down, and crab walk your way onto your mat. You will be facing the back of the mat. It's okay, I've got you. I want you to glue those heels down and flex the feet. We're gonna do some tricep dips here. All right, let's go, just 10 of them. Down and up. Nine, keep the belly in. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, lower those hips down. Stretch your legs long on the mat. Pause to breathe. We're coming into a reverse plank next. So we want you to take your hands about a foot behind you, the fingertips face forward. Point your toes and lift up the hips into a reverse plank. Now the modification is a tabletop so you can be here if you need to modify, but this is an advanced class, so I'm gonna guide it with the straight legs. Lift up your hips, and then that right leg is gonna lift straight up, bend, extend, and lower. We're doing 10, lift, bend, extend, and lower. Eight, bend, extend, and lower. Seven, bend, extend, and lower. Six, bend, extend, and lower. 
Five, bend, extend, and lower. Last four, bend, extend, and lower. Three, bend, extend, and lower. Two more, lift, bend, extend, and lower. Last one, lift, bend, extend, and lower. Now, if you can, let's go right into that left side. Lift, bend, extend, and lower. Nine, and lower. Eight, extend, and lower. Seven, bend, extend, and lower. Six, bend, extend, and lower. Five, bend, extend, and lower. Just four more. Bend, extend, and lower for three. Press those hands down. Extend, and lower. Two more, lift. Bend, extend, and lower. Last one, lift. Bend, extend, and lower. Good job. Hips down. Woo! That one was a doozy. Keep the belly tight, reach both arms up, flex the feet, and we'll just take a forward fold here. Just drape your body over the legs. Slow down the breath. Nice job. Roll up to a tall spine, turn onto your left side, and I want you to lie down on your left side. Banana your body so that the feet are towards that back corner of the mat. And if you can, in advanced Pilates, we take both hands behind the head. If you need more support, you can take the right fingertips down in front of your rib cage. But if you can, let's take those hands behind the back, the both hands behind the head. If the hips start to wobble, use the right hand for your support. Lift up your right leg, point your toes. We're taking a big circle here, so you're gonna sweep that right leg forward, up, all the way around and that left leg needs to press firmly into the mat. We're doing it five times forward, up, all the way back and around. Three, two, big circle, nice and controlled. One more. And then let's reverse the direction. So five times in the reverse, take it back, up, around, center. Two, Remember, if those hips start to wobble, use the support of that right hand. Four, one more full big circle, five. Now keep the leg hovering, lift the leg up straight leg this time, bend the knee, and then glide the toes along that bottom leg until it's re-extended. We're doing this 10 times, so lift, bend, glide three bend glide four bend glide forward four glide five glide six glide it forward seven glide it forward three more eight bend glide forward Nine, bend, glide it forward. Just one more lift, bend, glide it forward. Now bend that right knee and grab onto the right ankle with your right hand. So everyone grab the right ankle with the right hand and then we're gonna do inner leg lifts with the left leg. So lifting up and down for two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, we're doing 15 of these. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Really nice, release that right foot and just turn over and lie down onto your stomach so you should be facing the top of the mat once again. Little work for the back chest and shoulders here. Cactus those arms and then bring your feet a little wider than your hips and lift up the head, chest and shoulders. We're just taking some little pulses here up and down for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, keep the head, chest and shoulders up. Listen, take the arms back by the sides. Swim them in a full circle forward, then cactus and squeeze, little puff of the chest. Arms back, reach forward, cactus and squeeze, little puff of the chest. Reach back, reach forward, cactus, lift up. Reach it back, reach forward, cactus, lift higher, 
back, forward, cactus, and lift. Three more. Back, reach forward, cactus, puff. Back, forward, cactus, lift it up. Last one, reach back, reach forward, cactus, lift the chest, and then lower the chest down. Take a child's pose to stretch out the spine. Really nice job, knees wide, hips back. Forehead to the mat, breathe. And from child's pose, meet me in a tabletop pose. So shoulders over your wrists, knees in line with your hips. Lift up your right knee. Your right knee is hovering right outside of your left knee and we'll take a fire hydrant variation here. So I want you to lift the right leg up, straighten the leg, lower the leg, keep it straight, lift it back up, bend and lower. So that is the movement, we're doing it 10 times. So lift, extend, lower and lift, bend and lower. That's two, lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and lower. That's three, lift, extend, lower, and lift, bend, and lower. That's four, lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and lower. That's five, lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and lower. That's six, lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and lower. That's seven, just three more, extend, lower, lift, bend, and lower. Two more, lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and lower. This is the last one, lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and lower. Last thing, take that right leg back, hip height, tap the toes to the left outside of your mat, and then lift it as high as you can, pull the knee into the tricep. All right, we're doing that nine more times. So back, across, up, and in. Take it back, across, up, and in. That's three. Back, across, up, pull in. That's four. Back, across, up, pull in. That's five. Back, across, up, pull in. That's six. Back, across, up, pull in. That's seven. Back, across, all the way up, pull it in. That's eight. Two more. Across, pull it up, pull in. Last one. Go back, across, take it up, pull in. Take it back, tuck the left toes, down dog split, lift the right leg high, then curl the right heel open, bend the knee, open the hip. Breathe. Nice job, everyone. Straighten that right leg, put the right foot down, and you're back in downward facing dog. I'm gonna flip around. We're doing all that sequence on the other side. Just stay right where you are. So we will be starting with the right leg this time for the beginning of the sequence. I know we just worked all of the right leg, but you've had a moment to rest. So let's just lift up that right leg back into down dog split, roll forward to the three limbed plank. Do that twice more, all the way up and back, all the way forward. One more all the way up, all the way forward. Now start to curl that right heel in towards your glute, step it over the left foot, back bend, take that wild thing, stretch, lift the hips, reach that right arm up and over the ear, dip the hips down, rainbow that right arm all the way, reach it to the back of the mat and then place it behind you, crab walk your way back onto your mat and lower those hips down. We're taking teaser now, so lie down on your back. We'll start with the legs in the tabletop position. The arms go up and over the head. Inhale and as you exhale, pull yourself up into your teaser, straight arms, straight legs, and then inhale back down to the tabletop legs, arms over the head. Twice more like that, all the way up, all the way down. One more like that, all the way up, all the way down. Now you can either take three more like that or add on to your challenge. Legs long on the mat, squeeze belly, point the toes, inhale, exhale, pike it up into your teaser. Yes, and then inhale, roll back down. Two more, exhale, pike it up, inhale, back down. One more, exhale, up, teasers, no joke, friends. Inhale, roll your spine back down. Good job, flex the feet, take a roll up transition, curl the head and shoulders up, reach and dive for those toes. Then just turn to your right side and we'll set up that leg work. So prop your head in your right hand and banana your body so the feet are at that back opposite corner of the mat. If you can, take that left hand behind the head. Remember, support taking the left, the left fingertips in front of your left rib cage. 
If you need support and those hips start to wobble, use your right leg to firmly press into the mat to help with that stability as well. Lift your left leg up. We start with the circles going forward, up, all the way back and around. We're doing five like this. Three. Four, nice and slow. Five, and then reverse five in the other way, going back, around, forward, and center. Two, three, four, five, really nice. Keep those elbows wide. The second move, you lift the left leg up, bend the knee, point the toes, and then glide it along your right leg until it's re-extended straight. So we'll do nine more of those. Lift, bend, glide, extend. Lift, bend, glide to extend. That's three, lift, bend, glide to extend. That's four, lift, bend, glide to extend. That's five, lift, bend, Glide to extend, that's six. Lift, bend, glide to extend, that's seven. Lift, bend, glide to extend, that's eight. Lift, bend, glide to extend, nine. Lift, bend, glide to extend, that's 10. Now you'll bend that left knee and grab the left ankle with your left hand. Keep the hand propped in your head. And then we're doing inner leg work here. So the right leg lifts up and down, really nice. Two, three, flex the foot. Four, we've got 15 of these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, really nice. Now just extend that left leg and you'll lie down onto your stomach. And we'll set up that chest and shoulders work. This time we're doing rocking. So I want you to bend the knees and grab your feet around the ankles. Now you can choose to flex the feet if you want to. I like to point the toes, it's really up to you. Don't let your knees go out wider than your hips. Kick into your hands just enough so that those knees can lift off the mat and the head, chest, and shoulders are off of the mat. You have to keep the belly nice and tight for this one. And then I want you to start to rock forward and back. Forward and back. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Go ahead and put everything down and take child's pose to stretch it out. Knees wide and the hips back. Pausing to breathe in your child's pose. Great, good work, everyone. All right, let's come into tabletop. Before we take that work on the left leg, we'll take a couple rounds of cat-cow just to reset everything. So inhale, drop the belly, arch the spine, take the gaze up, and then exhale to round. We'll do that twice more. Drop the belly, arch, look up. Exhale to round, and then one more time, lift. And curl round. And then pause in that neutral spine. All right, let's set up that leg work with the left leg. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get those glutes engaged. So pull your belly tight, hover that left knee off of the mat. Take the left leg all the way out, straighten it, lower, lift, bend, and lower. That's one full rep. We're doing nine more. Lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and down. Lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and down. That's three. Lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and lower. That's four. Lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and lower. That's four. Lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and down. That's five. Lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and lower. That's six. Lift, extend, lower, lift, bend, and lower. That's seven. Lift, extend, lower, lift, 
bend and lower. That's eight, just two more. Lift, extend, lower, lift, bend and lower. That's nine, last one. Extend, lower, lift, bend and lower. All right, our last move. Take that left leg back, hip height, cross it across, tap the outer edge of your mat to the right, then take it as high as you can all the way into the tricep. That's one rep, we've got nine more. So back, across, up and in. Back, across, up and in, that's three. Back, across, up and in, that's four. Back, across, up and in, that's five. Back, across, up and in, that's six. Back, across, up, pull it in, that's seven. Back, across, up, pull in, that's eight. Two more, across, take it up, pull it in. Last one, go back, across, take it up, pull it in, take it back, tuck your right toes, lift the left leg up, down dog split, bend that left knee and open up the hip. Really nice work here. And then straighten that left leg, square off the hips, lower the left leg down, walk your hands to the back of the mat. We'll just take a rag doll here for a few cycles of breath. So just let the upper body be heavy. You can grab opposite elbows, sway side to side. Then let the hands fall to the mat, scoop the belly, roll up to stand one vertebra at a time and let's grab onto those weights. And come to the center of your mat with your feet a little bit wider than your hips. And start with the weights down and step that right foot out to the right, take a side lunge to the right, back to center, then the left foot steps out to the left back to center. So we're just starting out with some side lunges here. Use the belly muscles. We're not lifting the weights, they're just there to provide a little bit of resistance. Left, right, left, right. Keep going just like that. Take one more to the right, one more to the left, and then take the weights into your chest so you're back in that nice wide stance. So we're gonna start just with 10 regular squats, down and up. Nine, eight, we'll be adding on in a moment. Seven, six, weight is in the heels. Five, four, three, two, one, adding on, squat, stand up, take the weights over the head and step to the right into a curtsy squat, the weights go wide, and then all the way back up, all the way into squat, center, squat, stretch the weights all the way up, step it to the left, curtsy squat, weights go wide, all the way up, all the way down, and then take one squat in the center, all the way up, up, squat, center, squat, reach, step it left, up, center, up, center, reach, step, up, center, 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 reach it over, step it, curtsy, and up, down, center, down, reach it up, curtsy, up, down, center, down, reach and curtsy. Up and center, we've just got one more round. Squat, reach, curtsy, squat, and up, center squat, squat and reach, curtsy, and up, down and up. Now listen, we're gonna add on tricep curls. So go ahead and step the left foot out to the right, curtsy squat. Take the weights up and over the head. As you bend the elbows, you'll sit low and just a little pulse up and down. So we're just doing 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now step it all the way back into the center. 
all the way up and over to the other side. 10 rounds this side. One, two, three, four. Keep that belly in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Weights to chest, step back to your squat. Stand all the way up, good job. Weights by the sides of the body. Heel toe your feet back together so that they are touching. And then let's take a Pilates V with the feet. Heels together, toes apart. Pull belly in, zip up those inner thighs. Pause to slow down your breath if you lost it for a little bit there. It's okay, that was hard. All right, from this Pilates V, lift up onto the balls of both feet. If you can, I want you to stay lifted on the balls of the feet. Take the arms wide, little circle forward, little circle back, little circle forward. And if you need to lower the heels, no problem, it's hard. Little circle back, we're just doing five rounds. Forward and back, forward and back. Last round, forward and back, and then lower those heels down. Pull the weights to the chest. Last of our weight work is to balance on one leg. So shift the weight to the left foot. Pull the right knee into your chest. Take the weights out like you're holding onto a tray and we're just doing bicep curls. So down as the toes tap, lift, adding on one thing, extend the leg, bend. Down, extend, and bend. Eight, extend, and bend. Seven, extend and bend six extend and bend for five extend and bend four extend and bend three extend and then last two extend and then just one more extend and then good job feet back together weights go down give yourself a moment we're doing 10 rounds on the other side go ahead and shift your weight into your right foot, left knee into chest, get those weights ready for the bicep curls. It's down, up, extend, and bend. For nine, extend, and bend. Eight, extend, and bend. Seven, extend, and bend. Six, extend, and bend. Five, extend, and bend. Four, Extend and then last three. Extend and then last two. Extend and then one more. Extend and then, good job. Heel toe the feet, hips with distance apart. Roll your spine down and drop those weights off to the side. And just crawl your hands forward and we'll meet in a tabletop pose. And we'll just do a shoulder opener here. Thread the needle, sweep that right arm up to the sky and then thread the right arm all the way underneath the body. Rest onto your right cheek. And if you want to, you can walk those left fingertips forward. Just pausing to slow down the breath a little bit here. And then switch, plant that left hand by your face, sweep the right arm all the way up to the sky. Right hand down, left arm reaches up, thread the needle. If it feels nice, you can walk the right fingertips forward. And then right hand by the face, sweep that left arm all the way up to the sky, plant that left hand down. Sit back on your heels for just a moment and we'll take a nice side stretch. I'll turn so you can face me, or so you can see me. Sweep the arms up, take that left hand, grab the right wrist, lengthen, and then stretch to the left. Really nice job, everyone. Back to center, switch your grip. Lengthen, center, and then stretch to the right. Pass back through center, and then plant those hands down. Find that tabletop, tuck the toes. We'll meet in a downward facing dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand and we'll take single leg push-ups to finish it off. So we'll start with a roll down, belly in, roll down, walk out and find your plank, lift up your right leg in your plank, 
and try it without the knee. If you need to lower the knees down, you can lower the knees and do a single leg push up with the right leg up. But if you can, right leg up, just three push ups down and up. Two, three. Right foot down, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Complete the round by rolling up to stand and then we'll do it once on the left side. Roll down, walk it out. Lift up your left leg, go ahead, three push-ups, down and up, two, three. Place the left foot down, lift the hips to down dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand and give yourself a round of applause if pat on the back. Great, good work. Thank you for joining me.